Hey guys, Coach Gaglione here. Today I want to talk about why you should ditch the flat bench and do inclines instead. So, I love powerlifting. I've been a competitive powerlifter for over 14 years. And truth is, if I wasn't a competitive powerlifter, the incline bench would be my pressing movement of choice. And here's why. Uh, so a couple of things when we're kind of picking criteria. Um, this is kind of very popular in like the starting strength community. But you want to pick exercises that use the most muscle mass, can use a lot of weight, and use a more effective range of motion. And what I've found over the years, especially with a barbell flat bench, especially as we get more ego, uh, we get a little bit more involved with uh, displaying strength. We're not as concerned with building strength. We start to kind of maximize our grip width. We start to maximize our arch. We start to get our legs and lower back a little bit too, too much involved if our goal is to build strength and size for the upper body. So what I've kind of found, like a 45 degree incline press, is kind of the best of both worlds between a strict press, strict overhead military press, and a flat bench. It's really hard to kind of cheat, even if your butt is off the bench a little bit, you're not really getting that much assistance. Whereas if you kind of do like a touch and go, really high arch, really wide, bouncing bench press, you could really exaggerate the amount of poundages you could do. By having an incline press with a slight pause, you're gonna have a more balanced combination of working your chest, triceps, and delts. The other reasons, a lot of people argue that even the overhead press is a better strength builder and a better strength test uh, than the bench press. And there's some argument to be made there. Uh, again, since you're eliminating the arch, since it's a standing lift. What I found though, is most people nowadays, through texting, driving, into society, we don't have the shoulder flexion really needed to do a proper overhead press without really getting the lumbar in too much extension. Now, it's not to say that we can't work on it, and I do think the overhead press is super valuable, but I think for most people, you can do an incline press safely. Most people have some degree of external rotation where they, they might not have a full degree of external rotation that they might need for like a barbell back squat or an overhead press or a behind the neck press. But I'd say there's going to be some incline, you know, whether it be more shallow or more steep, it's going to be comfortable for everybody. And by taking a more moderate grip, it's gonna really take the, the pecs, the shoulders, and the triceps through a, and the delts through a nice range of motion, as opposed to a really wide grip, high arch, flat bench press. So I'm gonna show you some general techniques. I like to keep my pinkies on the ring. Basically what you wanna try and do in terms of your grip is to have your wrist and elbow stacked, and that's going to give you a nice range here, whether you're using a straight bar or using dumbbells. So we're gonna take a look at the technique here. There's a couple, now you can also, you don't have to stop at your chest. That feels comfortable for me. If you wanna stop a little bit higher and do like a little bit of like a t-shirt or a spoto press, that's fine. So here's a good lockout position. It's again, wrist, elbows, and shoulders in alignment. I could take this all the way down to my chest give a little pause, or I could hover, or place a bar pad, or I could place something like a bar pad, or a wrist wrap, kind of underneath. So something like this, I could also put on the bar to kind of modify the range of motion to make it fit your needs. Because again, if you're not a competitive power lifter, I do believe you could ditch the flat bench, incline instead, that's coming from a, a powerlifter that's been in the game for over a decade. I really believe the incline press is a fantastic builder. And if you are a competitive powerlifter, I do believe the incline press will really help you uh, in the off season as well. I think it's an excellent strength builder. Um, again, if bench press or overhead press is maybe your test of strength, I do believe that for building strength, the incline press is one of those forgotten lifts that you should be trying in your program. So there's some quick tips. Find an incline and a shoulder position and a depth, a range of motion that works for you. Remember, what do you have? What can you own? What can you tolerate? Apply that to all exercises, not just the incline press, so you can have healthy shoulders, bigger pecs, and more strength and size. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, stay strong.